What's going on guys? Um, I figured I'd demonstrate more of the most strangest effect I have ever seen. I noticed that just taking a ceramic magnet, um, it has to be a weak magnet, it can't be a strong one. It has to be a weak ceramic magnet with a weak magnetic field. Um, I noticed even if you kind of like just stroke it along the ringer coil, it somehow magnetizes it, or the fields interact with the magnet in such a way it enhances the light output. And hopefully you can see we're, um, we're running this light here, this little 4 watt bulb to full intensity, 12 volt, 4 watt, full intensity just off of the extra pickup coil here that's wound on the ringer. This light is being wirelessly lit from those two yellow coils. It's technically one coil, just wound in a split flux transformer configuration. Exactly similar to, uh, how Tesla would describe. So right here, it's wound exactly like that. Give you a good look at that. So that's exactly how it's wound, and watch when I bring the magnet near the light, I mean the coil. And if you get it just right, it'll get extremely bright. If you get the tuning on this just right, the light will get extremely bright without drawing more power. Because usually it does draw more power when you bring it near it, but if you get the tuning just right, the light will get extremely bright without draining more power. I can show this effect very good. There we go. Right there seems good. So, that light is extremely bright. Here's our power consumption. 13.72 watts. Also, when this effect occurs, I can't explain it, but this, uh, the ringer, will get extremely hot, and I don't know where all that heat comes from. It gets almost um, to the point where it's dangerously hot. So, I remove it. We consume 8 watts, 8.40. I bring the ceramic magnet near it again. The bulb will just get phenomenally bright. If you tune it just right, it'll get bright without drawing more power, but that's very hard to achieve. There's the power consumption. And um, I also have this little super cap bank here that will also run it for a time after I shut it off. So we're off, and it will run for a short time before it shuts itself down. Probably about 30 seconds. And we're just using the built up charge that was in those uh, super caps here. That's in parallel with the output that powers it. So. And now we're out. Then turn it on. And sometimes it has trouble oscillating with the magnet there. You might have to hook up another bulb for a moment to get it oscillating. There we go. That's the power output. Not quite tuned. That's a good amount of heat right here. And again, you wouldn't use this raw output. You would use this output to charge your big capacitor bank and pulse discharge it. You never want to use the power raw straight as it comes. You um, charge up a big capacitor bank with it and use it in pulse discharges. And again, I was just tuning the uh, output here, and I'm just blown away at how just having a magnet near it can do that. So I figured I'd show that. And that's our power consumption now. Still have radiant energy present in the circuit. 
quite a bit actually. I'm gonna try and harness that in a useful way somehow. Um, so yeah, that's that. Things are getting interesting. And I sell the ringer circuit, 150 bucks. Uh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, support the Patreon. Tons of free info on the Patreon. A whole bunch of electrical engineering in one spot. And yeah, figured I'd just show that, demonstrate it. And this is how sensitive this thing is to tuning. Look at that. If you get the right spot, it'll glow without impeding that light in any way. And without draining that source. As you see, we're getting this light to glow without an input drain. So, yeah. I figured I'd show that. And if anyone has any interesting ideas how to enhance it even further, let me know. I'm thinking of getting a ceramic ring magnet that'll perfectly fit this and putting it over it. And I gotta do something with that heat because there is a, a tremendous amount of heat here when that magnet is near the ringer circuit. I, I don't know why, but this thing is giving off tremendous amounts of heat now. Oh yeah, that it's way too hot. So, I figured I'd share that and show that.